Hey, good morning, y'all. It's the non-consensual human experiment. Let me tell y'all. Man, things change. I was on the... I was always on the, the right track. But... I thought this whole thing was bigger than it, you know, bigger than it really is. Now, don't get me wrong. There are still some, I think there's still some pretty um, higher up the echelon um, ladder employees involved in this, but for the most part, I'm gonna keep it all the way a band. Man. I'm just a network. Walked outside last night. <clears throat> about 2.30 in the morning. And it was like a drive-in movie theater out there. It was probably 15 cars out there, trucks. What I learned is that it's the wireless body area network. And I already knew that I was online, but the way it's gotten these um these gang stalkers are they're not even trying to be discreet about it anymore. They're just out in the open, blatant, as plain as day. And they get away with it due to one simple fact. I can't prove it. But when when I realized what was happening, it, it kind of all drove it home, you know, in one fell swoop. Um, when I hear the signal that I used to speak about, the Bluetooth sounding signal cut on in my head, it's not really in my head, you know, it's, I think someone has to be within a certain area range of me and they connect directly to my mind with cell phones and I've seen it. I saw it. It's crazy. I think about it. Um, how would I react if I was on the outside looking in? But I think, you know, hey man, he's just, that man stowed off. Um, you know, he, he needs help. Nobody's there and all that, you know. Or, but I start noticing the signs too that everyone else seems to ignore or miss. I don't know. All I know is, in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. I guess maybe I did have um these elaborate um you know delusions um <laughs> you know, I still believe that homeland security is involved in some way shape or form but 
I believe that they're using the ones closest to me to keep me online. And for what reason is unknown. I could go into the reasons and I may in a later video but I believe that using the wireless body area network um, that David Edwards mentioned that I've been brought online and I don't know what it is they see when they hook up to me but I know that whatever it is they um they go out of their way to make sure that they're close enough to me at all times to pick it up so whether they're working towards some specific goal or whether it's just getting them high I don't know but I'm gonna be doing some more research into it and I'm really gonna start becoming more aware of my surroundings for I've been in this for a little over two years now and I still wasn't <laughs> aware or alert to everything that's been taking place but my eyes are wide open now and it's as simple as that and some kind of a, an alert comes to their phone in the form of I don't know maybe an amber alert but it's a bulletin that I'm pretty sure that it slanders me for some unknown reason probably labels me a terrorist <laughs> Or a pedo, or some of that shit. But I think that everyone is ill informed of what's really going on. And honestly, I gotta wonder if they're not brainwashed themselves. Because anyone who knows me, I mean, they know better. <laughs> but. I have been in this shit for a little over two years, so I've educated myself on a lot of what's involved and what it takes to bring the human body online, as well as what it takes to harass with electronic weapons. But I wasn't prepared for, <laughs> for this. a whole city and according to them the whole world over me <laughs> I know I couldn't picture that shit either <laughs> but why would I make it up 